Good morning, friends. Oh, apparently I still don't have any battery. I had you guys on the charger. So I'm trying to potty train Cora. So she's wandering the house half naked and I know she has to go potty and she just won't do it and it's making me crazy. She keeps asking for her diaper and I know she wants her diaper so she can go potty. So we're in a standoff. But I just made my breakfast. Same thing as the last two days. I'm trying to keep things very consistent, like same meals, same times, every day. Um, and I'll probably do this for the next five weeks to just so that I know how my body is going to handle stuff. I'll make small tweaks so that I don't go crazy, but that's what I'm gonna do. I've already finished a 40 ounce water bottle and I'm about 20 ounces into this one. So I'm at about half a gallon already. Um, and then my coffee, I have drank 200 plus ounces of water every day this week and I feel amazing. And um, yeah, I'm just stoked on this Wednesday. So um, yeah, it's a rest day. Daddy's working from home. We're basically just gonna be working on school, working around the house. I have classwork to do today and yeah. So I'll let you guys know what is up. She went potty, she went potty, Cora went potty. So I'm rewarding myself with early oatmeal. <laughs> so I just took the dogs for a walk and I can't stand rest days because I generally end up stuck in the house. And I mean, we could have gone somewhere today, but I mean, I'm kind of sloth moding it. Um, and the problem is that then I'm stuck in the house and then I want to eat and I'm like hungry. Sorry. And then I'm like hungry every 10 minutes. So um, I'm making myself something that I'm hoping will keep me a little bit more full, full than usual. Okay, so this is tricky. I bought this jalapeno sliced cheese from Velveeta because it turns out I really enjoy Velveeta cheese. Um, the packaging is all ripped, but so I'll get you some light. It's this cheese. Um, it's 40 calories per slice, one and a half grams of fat, three grams of carbs, and three grams of protein. So Velveeta cheese is actually pretty solid on macros, okay? Oh, it's hard to tell. Yeah, that looks like it has jalapenos. Um, so I know, and like honestly, if you look at Velveeta compared to like other cheese, they all kind of have shit ingredients if you're buying like store-bought cheese and so um i'm not stressed on it because it tastes good and because it melts better a little bit goes further so these got all jumbled up but these are the light original flat out wraps. So they're 90 calories, one and a half fat, 14 carb, eight fiber, and nine protein. So um, that's pretty legit. And then, so I'm just gonna do that. And then I literally just microwaved three egg whites. Um, I just poured it in the bowl and popped it in the microwave. I think it took about a minute and a half. Chelsea, why are you like crying right now? Relax, man. And then Vic and I are obsessed with these peppers lately. Um, they're the peppers we buy to use for like Italian beef sandwiches and stuff like that, but they are good like straight out of the jar. They're so good. So I'm just gonna add a couple of those. And then this arugula is like on its last leg, so just enough 
for some more crunch. And then I'm out of reduced sugar ketchup, but I don't ever use that much anyway, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of ketchup. And voila. I'm pretty excited. Oh no, I broke it. Ta-da! Yay! Hey guys, I just got a package from Muscle Egg and it's not something that I ordered. Oof, move. Babe. Holy shit! Look at this! Muscle Egg sent me four shirts. Vic's over here working from home. That's who I'm talking to. My cute little Muscle Egg t-shirt. Who else opens packages? Just me. Ooh, look at that one. And tank top. Babe, they sent you one. Look at that. That's so exciting. I don't know, but it's a double XL. Well, that is too cool. I've been talking to whoever runs their social media account um, for months. We, cause they always comment when I post something about Muscle Egg. And um, I mean, I have no like actual, like official relationship with Muscle Egg. And so that's super sweet that they just sent me all of these goodies. So thanks guys. Okay, and then the other thing I got was, um, more little buff protein. So I'm really excited to try this flavor. I can't remember, I think I just told Instagram this, but I got the Rep and Raz, and so it's their raspberry flavor. And um, the carbs, are, or the macros are pretty good, so it is five fat, 14 carb, and 26 protein. So some of them will have like slightly different carbs. I think Ginger Shred has the best carbs. Yeah, it only has 12, so that's nice. Um, but I'm excited to try the raspberry one because I checked with Christine and it doesn't have, um, it just has raspberry flavoring. It doesn't have actual raspberries in it and that's good because I'm allergic. So um, isn't that a weird allergy? And then I got a cute sweatshirt that I just couldn't pass up because it might be summer, but I am always cold. So, um, and knowing that, I like to have cute sweatshirts on hand. Sorry, I'm trying to lay it out. So, super simple. I love crew necks. And then it's got just the logo on the back. So, I am excited for that. I purged my closet and filled up an entire bag, which I'm very proud of. Um, I've been needing to do that for a while. Um, so got rid of some stuff. I honestly, I have clothes from, see this is gonna look bad, it's too bright. Hold on, ah, that is so much better. Um, so I emptied out the closet because I had a ton of stuff that I've had since like before kids. And um, I was never this small before I had kids. I was about a size eight, six or, no, I was like an eight or a 10 then. And so I've had Lulu and just like different stuff. I have a ton of race shirts because I used to be like just a cardio queen. And so I had a ton of my shirts from that, which like they were fun mementos, but I also have all of my medals and um, I'm not wearing the shirts. So time to get rid of them. So I got this like weird burst of energy. I had another one of those America energies and that had to be why. So um, did all of that. And now it is, what time is it? 
Fitbit is not responding. 4.30 and um, Cora actually just woke up from a nap so I'm gonna feed the kids dinner. They're in the shower right now and um, hopefully we'll get to relax. I mean it's a beautiful day out and like Vic and I might go for another walk but um, I feel bad because I should be taking the kids to go do fun stuff and I'm just like not feeling it. I got a little grouchy today and that's not nice. Um, one thing I did want to talk to you guys about is that um, I, the month of June is the first month that I am trying to do a $1,000 food budget. So we have it in our budget, you know, Vic's a finance guy. So of course we have like a detailed Excel spreadsheet budget and then I use the Mint app. And so um, I love it because it tracks all of my transactions and everything. And then I also use something called Digit, which um, I have like a, code that sends over where like I get five dollars for referring you and then you can do the same thing but obviously that's not necessary but if you're interested just let me know um my sister sent it to me um it's cool because it looks at your transactions and then we'll transfer over like a tiny little bit of money to save and so in the last like month we've saved like a random like six hundred dollars and you don't like it doesn't hurt you know you don't feel it really because it's transferring over like a cup of coffee like equivalent um, so I was like you know what if we're going to make the kind of progress that we want to make in order to be like completely debt free and then when my car lease comes up I'm on a prepaid lease right now so by the time we have to start thinking about my next car because we're probably gonna turn this one in um, you know I want it to be I wanted you know I wanted to have money ready and things like that and so the easiest way to do it is to cut our food budget and so um, like I said we have our budget set to two thousand dollars we usually spend anywhere between sixteen hundred and twenty two hundred dollars a month on food that's ridiculous I throw away so many groceries because I'll buy them and then we go out to eat and then we go out to eat and we'll bring home our left home leftovers or you know we just we spend money we spent too much money on food. Like we were spending like at least a hundred, if not two hundred dollars a weekend on brunch, and it's stuff that I can make at home. So like we started weaning ourselves. Where sometimes we'd go to brunch two days on the weekends, or we'd go out to dinner like one night and then brunch another day. Um, and so we started cutting it down to going out to eat only once on the weekends. But then I also cut out. Um, we haven't been going through like any drive-throughs for the last couple of weekends um, except for that road trip but beyond that we haven't like I haven't been letting the kids get like random happy meals when I'm feeling lazy or anything so I've been cooking at home more and then I've also just been trying to not make those random trips into the grocery store for like when I want one thing because I never get one thing you know I pick up like $80 worth of shit when all I needed was like one bag of cheese and so now I just forego whatever that ingredient is and I'm gonna deal and so essentially the way I said it was a thousand dollars which is still way more than I think most people spend I saw some meme that said that the average family spends seven thousand dollars a year on groceries and I was like oh god like I spend more than that in half that amount of time so $1,000 is supposed to cover our groceries and cover any eating out. So the way I thought of that was essentially um, I planned for, sorry, bug was buzzing, um, about $600 a month in groceries and then $100 per weekend for going out. Now with me being on prep, it is a lot easier to avoid going out because I can't really order anything. So um, this weekend, uh, good friends of ours are leaving. They're moving to Florida. And so um, we're gonna meet them for either breakfast or lunch on Saturday. So that means we won't go out to eat at all. Um, well, actually Vic's going out on Friday night, so I'm accounting that in. It's his um, monthly happy hour with his team at work but um, they go to a bar where he can get two dollar beers and so he knows he has to keep that in check I have stopped getting Starbucks I haven't had Starbucks in weeks um, I started just buying the big iced coffees at the at Target or whatever or at the grocery store for three dollars I can get three days of iced coffee um, and and that's like a massive iced coffee and then um, if I make a pot of coffee and we don't drink it all I pour it into a mason jar and then put it in the fridge and then that's my iced coffee the next day so um, they're like really small little things where I don't feel like it's really affecting me and then I don't feel as bad I count things like little buff and muscle egg into our food budget 
and so when I order them I usually order enough to make shipping worthwhile and then like I won't order any low buff again until she drops ginger shred in July and I'll stock up on that until like Christmas time so I'll probably get like four or five bags but um you know that stuff I don't I eat very consistent menu items and I don't eat a lot and so I don't feel bad about getting stuff like that and um, with Vic now on a cut and he's sticking to his macros I cook all of his food and so we've just been going really easy like he eats a lot of meals that are like beef and potatoes or yogurts or you know at night um, I've been making his pizzas instead of ordering pizza um, I make a really good pizza crust and so we've been doing that and so I'll let you guys know how successful we are today is June 6th oh Cora is hopefully you can't see her she is naked and up in the window <laughs> so I need to go inside it is June 6th daddy is not paying attention it's June 6th and we've spent $276 on food so far this month now that includes fast food on our road trip and that includes our big grocery haul that was actually done uh, the last week of May so it covered about five or six days of May but I moved it in our budget app to cover June 1st to start then because I got like bulk items so I knew it would count a lot for June so um, I'm trying not to spend like any more food money until the percentage equals the percentage of the month if that makes sense so I'm like roughly 25% of I'm a little over 25% of the way into my budget there's a bug buzzing and it's killing me so I don't want to spend any money on food again until we are more than 25% of the way through the month, you know? So that's how it works for me. So um, I'll let you guys know how I do. And, like, even though I feel like I'm dragging, it's one of those situations where when I go back and, like, look at what I've accomplished throughout the day, I feel better about it, if that makes any sense. My workouts have been the same way. We're, like, in the workout, I'll feel like it was shitty. But then when I look at my numbers for my lifts and stuff like that, I've actually been really productive. So... You know, maybe do that on your days. Kind of take, um, I can't think of the word. I'm like inventory of like what you've done and everything. And uh, don't be too hard on yourself. So I'm going to go take care of my naked baby because Vic must be on like a work call or something like that. And uh, get her ready for dinner. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.